Hello viewers, this is Kulsum Ahmed. Today I'm here with the topic perfect competition. This is a topic of microeconomics. So let's start with the topic. Now what is perfect competition? Pure or perfect competition is a market structure defined by a large number of small firms competing against each other for homogeneous products. As I told in my previous uh, lecture that if I'm going to ask 50, uh, 10 farmers to bring their wheat grains with them and if I'm going to mix those grains in one pot and if I say them to pick your grains a specified grain out like whatever was from your field pick them out so what do you think will they be able to identify what grain was from my field definitely not so pure competition or perfect competition are the examples of those products which are homogeneous products like potatoes like carrots like pots all these things are homogeneous we can't identify that who the manufacturer or who the producer is of this onion or of this product now you are clear with the definition so what are the assumption of uh, perfect competition? The first one comes with homogeneous products as I told you before. The second one is the firms are price takers. It means that when you are going to bring your onions into the market or when you are going to bring your carrots into the market, you are not supposed to change get the prices changed. Rather the prices are predetermined by the forces of demand and supply means you are not your product or your uh, production cannot change the market prices so market are predetermined and you have to just accept those prices which are already been decided by the forces of demand and supply then comes market share has no influence on prices so no matter you are uh, harvesting on 100 acres of land or on 10 acres of land or on 5 acres of land your production has nothing to do with the influences on the prices buyers have complete or perfect information in past present and future about the product being sold and the prices charged by each firm it means that prices uh, all the buyers like whoever wants to buy potatoes they already know what was the price in last year what was the price four months before what is the price yesterday and what is the price today so you people are aware about the uh, prices this is why we will call perfect information then comes resources for such a labor are perfectly mobile it means if you want to grow certain uh, uh, products uh, like uh, if you want to grow wheat crop and if you want to grow maize uh, crop so you are cl clearly aware, aware of about uh, the prices about the infrastructure about the labor everything so labor are mobile you people can go anywhere and do the work and everything nothing uh, is going to disturb you then comes firms can enter or exit the market like if you have grown wheat this year and you and in the next year you don't want to grow the wheat and you want to grow something else you are allowed to do that because you are not being restricted by any of the market um, agents now we are going to have prices as i told you before that prices are predetermined so price is already set on this price no matter you are producing very little amount or you want to increase your production it has nothing to do with the prices now total revenue is decided if you are going to p into q will be the total revenue so 131 multiplied by 1 will be 131 131 multiply by 2 will be 262 then 131 multiply by 3 will be 393 so in this way all the total revenue di uh, diagram or the data will be obtained then comes marginal revenue now what is marginal revenue marginal revenue means change in total revenue means the total revenue 262 minus 131 and 2 minus 1 so 262 minus 31 will be 131 and 2 minus 1 will be 1 so 131 divided by 1 will be 131 in this way you are going to do the calculation of every new revenue marginal revenue so marginal revenue is the additional revenue obtained from each next product fine so in perfect competition because we have perfect information because we have price we are price takers so because we cannot influence the prices this is why 
whatsoever quantities we are going to produce our total revenue or marginal revenue has nothing to do with that so whatsoever will be the price same will be the average revenue and same will be the marginal revenue average revenue mean per unit revenue and marginal revenue mean uh, revenue obtained from the additional quantity produced and price is the price that is already been determined this is why in perfect competition we should have a straight line of average revenue and marginal revenue but the total revenue is uprising it is it has started from zero and then it is moving up and up and up so this is why total revenue is uprising now let's do uh, let's do the profit maximization in short run now what is the formula of profit that is total revenue minus total cost so this is why we are having total revenue minus total cost approach here, over here and we are going to produce the different quantities and total fixed cost is pre-decided means we already know that what is the fixed cost of our business this is why it will stay same and always you we know in cost that fixed cost will have to stay same same in short run then variable cost it is increasing with uh, the production of every new item this is why it is increasing with the outputs then what is the total cost total cost is the sum of total fixed cost and variable cost like 100 plus 90 will be 190 100 plus 170 will be 270 100 plus 240 will be 340 100 plus 370 will be 470 and so on you can do the calculation and afterwards what we are going to do is the price the price is going to stay same and all the revenues we know already price into quantity will be done to obtain the revenues so what is the price that is already we know that is 131 131 multiplied by 1 will be 131 131 multiplied by 2 will be 262 131 multiplied by 3 will be 393 so in this way we are going to obtain total revenues now what will happen to the profit and loss you know the formula of profit and loss that is total revenue minus total cost so this is why we are going to minus this uh, data from total cost data fine so 131 minus 190 will be minus 59 262 minus 270 will be minus 8 393 minus 340 will be plus 53 now from here the profits are increasing and we have to see what is the maximum profit so when we are having nine products our profits are maximized so nine will be the break-even point or you can say equilibrium point and 299 will be the maximum profit obtained out of all these items now marginal revenue and marginal cost approach previously we learned about average revenue and average cost approach and here is marginal revenue and marginal cost approach so this approach will let us do make the diagram and will allow us to get to know what is the actually uh, equilibrium point and what is the break even point fine this is why it is very very important to understand now firm will shut down unless marginal revenue at least meets marginal cost so marginal revenue where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost will be the break even point so let us see how it is done then profit maximization in all market structures is obtained can be restated as p is equals to mc so this is the point that will tell you this is the point of margin of profit maximization now let's see how it is happening on one side we have taken the quantities I, I told you before and on the other side we are going to take the prices now here you you already know that the price was 131 and you knew uh, already knew, know that price is equals to average revenue is equals to marginal revenue means this line is the price line and this line is average revenue line and this line is marginal revenue line mean this line has role three roles to play this is why it is very important to know where it is then comes average cost curve uh, sorry this is marginal cost curve it is moving up um, previously it was this then it was falling down which is minimum and then it will start rising up now this point where mc is equals to mr was that uh, as a uh, as a break even point fine this is why it is very important to understand where it is then comes the average variable cost and you know that every variable cost is always u-shaped then comes average total cost it is also u-shaped it uh, previously on one quantity it was high 
then on second quantity it decreased on third quantity it decreased so it happens in this way and a time comes when again it starts rising up fine so the difference between average revenue as i told you before p is equals to average revenue is equals to marginal revenue and average total cost so the difference between this and this will be the economic profit and you know the price is high and you know per unit revenue is high but per unit cost is low so the difference between average revenue and average cost will be the economic profit and marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost will be the break even point and will be mrmc approach now you are clear with average revenue average cost approach and marginal revenue marginal cost approach i'm sure you are clear now let us see how are we going to face the losses we do face the losses let's see what will happen so this is the line where p is equals to average revenue is equals to marginal revenue now what is the scene the price is low in the market again mc is like this m uh, average variable cost is like this and average total cost is like this now here how will we get to know that we are having loss now see the first point that i told you was average uh, mc mr approach now mc is equals to mr over here this point is telling us break even point now on break even point we will get to know this number of quantities we are going to produce and we are going to get to know that this will be the price in the market now mr mc approach has allowed us to know what where is our break even point now let us see how are we going to get to know that we are having loss now for this thing you have to see average revenue and average cost now where is your average revenue look into this this line is having average revenue straight line this line is letting you know average revenue now average revenue is down but average cost is high this is why cost is high and revenue is low fine average revenue mean per unit revenue and average cost mean per unit cost so per unit cost is high but per unit revenue is low this is why we are facing the problem of loss are you clear now so i'm sure that you are clear now let us see what is shut down now shut down shut down is an extreme case this is the case that is never acceptable because over here the company is facing two type of losses uh, fixed cost uh, loss and variable cost loss now again we are going to start with the straight line now when you are going to draw this uh, on your copy how will you make you are going to have a vertical x and you are going to have a horizontal x on horizontal x you are going to always keep the quantities and on the vertical x you are going to always keep the prices fine this is a basic thing then if it is perfect competition you are going to draw a line that is a straight line and then you are going to write down there p is equals to average revenue is equals to marginal revenue you are going to write it down fine then what will you do you are going to make an average cost line then you are going to make average variable cost line always remember that average cost is up and average variable cost is below than that and then you are going to make an marginal cost line that will be moving upward and then you are going to see where mc is equals to mr will be the break even point so this thing i am telling you verbally so that when you will be drawing the making the uh, on the copy you should know how to make it but here because we don't have vertical x and horizontal x and all that this is why i am just telling you that how things are happening now see this is your marginal cost then this is your average variable cost and then your this is your total cost now see the difference between average total cost and average variable cost is known as fixed cost so here we are going to have two sort of losses first of all just look into the diagram and see say where mc is equals to mr will be the break even point and on this break even point you are producing five items and on this break even point your price is this now you are clear about the break even point and your equilibrium quantity and your equilibrium price now you are clear with these three things now what we have to see we have to see that average total cost is up then our average revenue line number 1 so this is showing loss then average variable cost is also up 
then our average revenue line now here you can see we are having every fixed cost loss and average variable cost loss so we are having two type of losses over here this is why we will call it shutdown because if a company is facing average variable cost loss the company will continue in the hope that in future we will recover our all the losses but if the company is facing every fixed cost loss it means the company is having a very very critical condition and it's better to close down and it's better to stay back because fixed cost means the cost of the fixed uh, expenses for example your rent of the building your um, uh, salaries of the fixed employees your utility bills so these are the basic things these you have to clear every month this is why you cannot uh, have the dare to face these sort of losses this is why it will be better to shut down now what are the disadvantages of perfect competition now first is absence of innovation definitely if you are growing wheat you know any not to do any innovations yes you can do one thing that you can increase the per acre productivity of your land of your farm house and you can increase you can make your um, farming commercial farming instead of having subsistence farming you can struggle to make commercial farming now what is commercial farming commercial farming is a situation where you are going to produce more out of your land area like your labor is well trained your equipments are very good you are using very good machinery uh, and you are going to make it capital intensive maybe and you are going to use very high quality uh, seeds for the production of your or uh, for all these pr uh, products fine so this is why we will call it that we have absence of innovation right now then no firm possesses a dominant market share in perfect competition like in monopoly oligopoly duopoly monopolistic competition you can enjoy the influence of uh, your product but here you are not dominant cannot obtain higher revenues by increasing prices because you are a price taker you are not a price maker this is why you cannot influence the market prices this was all about my today's lecture i'm sure that you have liked my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you